Hey there, you're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're going to be reviewing this helmet. It's the Climb F5 helmet. Did you see that? Here. Little bit of story time. Everybody, need, everybody knows that we need to wear good gear when we're riding our dirt bikes because you never know what's gonna happen. And this helmet uh, from Climb, this helmet actually might have saved my life this week. I've been riding for several years and I hit my head as hard just a couple of days ago as I ever have. I think I've hit my head on the ground maybe three times in the last six or seven years. One of the times I gave myself a concussion so I don't remember how hard I hit. This one I remember it clearly. I'll roll in the footage here, but basically I'm on an off camber, really steep downhill. I start to make a mistake and I'm gonna lose the bike off the side of the hill. So immediately I try to duck it into the hill and just, just jam it into the hill and there's just a massive, nasty, gnarly, sharp rock boulder right there and I, I can't do anything except for hit it. And so I just kind of tuck my, I kind of tuck my head down like this and I just go pile driving right, right into that rock. And then I just literally pile drove my head Oh, look, you can see on the bottom of this rock here, that is blue from the top of this climb helmet. So the helmet did its job. I'm not real sure I'm gonna wear it again because I think I might have damaged it. But that's, that's why we were helmets, guys. I probably wouldn't have walked away from that if I didn't have a helmet on. Because I hit my head, I've been riding for what? Seven or eight years. That's the hardest I've ever hit my head on the ground. And that is a really, in fact, I think I broke some of this rock. I don't know, but uh, that's why we wear helmets, guys. And this climb helmet did its job. So as you can see in that footage, that was a freaking nasty, nasty hit. And it broke the visor on this helmet. And it actually, I hit the top of the helmet right in to that rock. And it's amazing. This carbon fiber shell that Climb has done on this F5 helmet, it's unbelievable how strong this is. And again, and also how light this thing is. I was so impressed. I reached up thinking my helmet was going to be split in two because I, it was, the rock was so sharp and I hit that thing so hard. I'm amazed that this thing didn't break. Now, I hit my head so hard on that thing, I'm probably going to retire this helmet. But I cannot thank Climb enough for making a awesome, awesome helmet because literally, I don't think I walk away from that rock. I, I would, it would have split my head completely open. That rock would have been inside my brain. But because Climb designed a well, a fantastic helmet, that didn't happen. So anyway, two major thumbs up for me on the design of this helmet and saving my head. Let's take this thing over to the bench and take a little bit closer look at it. Climb designed this helmet from the ground up, and it's a pretty fantastic helmet. They're using they're using this Fidlock uh, magnetic lock system down here uh, to get to get your helmet uh, to to secure it. And essentially, the way that this works is you've got a mag you've got a magnet on this side, or I, actually I don't know which side that you can see that Fidlock right there. I don't know which side the magnet is on, but uh, it's a magnetic clip system. So you basically just have to kind of get this close and then it locks into place. And as you can see, no matter how hard I pull on that, it's not going to come off until you pull on the little red tab there and then this comes off. Um, I use this for a number of days and I was getting better and better at this. It's so easy to clip that on here when it's not on the bike. When you've got gloves on, it was harder for me to get that on. So. I'm not as comfortable yet using this, but I think if you use this uh, for a while and practiced it, this would become a very efficient way for you to take your helmet on and off. So um, that's just something, I wonder if more helmets are gonna start using that, but it, it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, positives about this helmet. It's actually very light. Um, I used, I, I wore a size medium on this thing. Um, and again, the, the uh, visor is only broken because of that crash. They, they send an extra visor with you, with this guy. They come in a couple of different colors and here's the top of the helmet where I smashed into that. I, this is, it's unbelievable that it didn't break the top of this shell. Generally speaking, when I hit my head really hard on the ground, 
I, I retire a helmet just because I'm like, okay, that's, I, I don't know if I want to push my lock too much with multiple hits. So this helmet is probably going to be retired. And I'm kind of sad because this thing was, it's really light. It's really well ventilated. There's four, four huge vents up here and the vents go down all the way through. Um, so you can kind of radiate heat out. Um, but I, I, it was just, everything performed really nicely. The, the last helmet that I had from Climb, I wasn't really in love with that one. This one is much, much better. It also was very easy for me to put my uh, Pro Shot camera mount on this one because it had a nice area here, kind of a nice flat area. I like to run these Pro Shot camera mounts for GoPros, so it was easy to install that way. Another thing is the last helmet that I had from Climb, this was a big issue. I was popping these inserts out or I mean these, these little keepers off the, off the helmet. And you'll notice that the helmet, is, the, the helmet is dirty because I've used this a number of times. I was just about ready to clean this thing when, when I broke it. But this is a major improvement from the F3 helmet that I tested last year. Um, this thing is not coming apart. I mean, it's not breaking apart. So it's easy to clean this thing. And it's not just, uh, it's, not, it's not going to you know, mess up on you. And this is, they've got a really nice uh, locking system in here with the liner. So easy to pull this, pull this out. And then you can, you can, you know, obviously take that out and wash this thing, which is important. I mean, because we get, we get our helmets so grimy and so, so dirty uh, after a few rides, a few dusty rides and, and a few sweaty rides. It's nice to be able to, to uh, get the thing clean again. So this helmet, obviously it's a carbon fiber helmet, carbon fiber shell, very light, very stiff, very strong. And then obviously you've got your, you know, your styrofoam. I don't know what they call that. It's like, I think they're touting like a three, like a three density or something, tri-density uh, um, shell inside of here or the, the actual absorption material, the, the styrofoam stuff. Um, but this helmet performed very well. The only thing that was kind of funny is it, it would kind of push my ears a little bit. I've got big ears and so my ears kind of, didn't fit super perfectly inside of the ear socket. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dock climb for that because I've got kind of weird ears. Um, but the the comfort the helmet was comfortable to wear all day. Uh, vented well was was lightweight was lightweight. Uh, they give you a decent case for this thing. They also give you uh, an extra visor, which I know a lot of the helmet manufacturers do. Um, but this is definitely a helmet that I would recommend. Um, almost all of the climb gear that I have tested has been top notch. The only thing I ever had an issue with was the last helmet that I did and they've, they've corrected those problems. So kudos to climb for actually knowing, actually going out there and improving their product and saying, Hey, you know what? We could do this better. And they have, this helmet is awesome. I really liked this helmet. Uh, and they've got a few different colors for this thing. And I would say if you were in the market, I think they're, they're retailing for like $4.99. And if you think that's expensive, I know, I know, you know, 500 bucks is a, is a decent chunk of change, but guess what, man, this sucker probably saved my life this week. So would I have wanted to be wearing a $100 helmet? Um, no, I'm glad that I had on a really nice quality, uh, well-built helmet today or this week, because I might not be doing this review if I hadn't had that. So two thumbs up for me on this, uh, climb F5 helmet. And if you guys have some, uh, you know, have some comments, leave them down in the description, but kudos to climb for making an awesome helmet.